Hi guys, it's December 1st. My name is Reagan. Jokes aside, I came across a video which I found quite humorous, which just exemplifies the uh, cultural difference between generations. And before I go on, let me elaborate. Uh, my generation was exposed to um, over a decade of stagnated wages, increased rents, uh, overworked hours, and again, underpaid. So we had to literally force ourselves to make do with less, to accommodate to our surroundings. And no matter what situation we found ourselves in, you had to be headstrong. You had to really have yourself together. Hell, you can just put me in a room with a straight jacket and a Game Boy, and I bet you I could survive much longer than this individual. And now let me preface that I've had some, un some fortunate circumstances work out in my life, but you reap what you sow, really. So what this is is a byproduct of years of uh, narcissistic tendencies, only thinking about themselves, disgust, and a mixture of existential dread, I guess you could say. I can certainly relate to this, but I still keep going. I find life enjoyable. I know it's pointless. I know we're fucked. But that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy yourself uh, and have a good time with yourself and others. Hell, go volunteer. Go, go try to make an impact, you know, on somebody else's life. But that doesn't, that doesn't compute to um, a generation that has been nothing but exposed to me, me, me. Despite whatever accomplishments they, they did in, in, in the interim, maybe they, they produced content or videos which shed light on a predicament that humanity finds itself in, um, you reap what you sow. So without further delay, I'm going to go ahead and play this and get a few chuckles. Hope you enjoyed as much as I do. Hi guys. Well, I guess another night in hell begins. Another night in hell begins. It is now a six o'clock in the evening on a six o'clock in the evening on a Tuesday night. That would be November 29th, 2022. And uh, as these uh, <laughs> seven foot by seven foot walls begin closing in around me and squeezing my fucking brains out of my head. And, facing December of 2022, which will, <laughs> will truly be uh, the, the, the next month. Uh, what do you got? One, yeah, there's 30 days, half November. We have one more day in November, the never-ending November. And uh, just the, the very thought, the very thought of enduring the month of December uh, in my little, uh, my little comfortable little prison that we carved out of this beat-up crashed out, moldy old tool shed, turn into this tiny house, this tiny house, closing in on me, good God, it is, I haven't even made it through November, but uh, <laughs> I've had some time to think, Karen, uh, in, in, in the tiny house, and, and there's no better place, you know, just to sit here for hours on end, it had, I have not seen the sun since Saturday, since that gorgeous day we had on Saturday, uh, and uh, just waking up morning after morning after morning to these gray fucking skies and these bare trees and this uh, cold wind blowing. and Just day after day, it's supposed to rain all fucking day tomorrow. So it's given me plenty of time to think about the state of the planet and the state of my mind and uh, I don't know how to, to, to explain the state of my mind right now and weirdly enough it's not it's not well yet anyway I would not actually describe what I'm experiencing right now as depression it's just a you know I, I guess I'm just it's a resignation maybe I'm just finally reaching the the state of acceptance that I am completely fucked that the human race is completely fucked this entire planet it, it is completely fucked. You know, I've known it about the planet and the human race, but but somehow I've been uh, I've been hanging on to this fantasy that something was going to change in my own puny little teeny weeny life, and uh, just waking up to the reality of of 
what you know what my fucking life is. I'm growing older each day with all these fucking aches and pains. This fucking tooth, you know that uh, that broken half this summer uh, is throbbing. I know that I have to deal. I have to go get this fucking tooth pulled. Uh, as brother Alistair knows, I've totally fucked up my right elbow. Now I have. I, I this is how much flexibility I have in my right elbow. Of course, my right shoulder uh, has been fucked up since the, the Christmas tree lot. I've got this goddamn, what do you call it, sciatica in, in my leg. You know, it, it just goes fucking on and on. And, and I know that these goddamn little aches and pains, they're not going away. Uh, there, there's just going to be more and more of them. Uh, you know, with every day I grow older and my body starts to fucking fall apart. Watching the little dog start to grow old and get gray hair just like me. He's got his own aches and pains to deal Getting with. Getting older sucks. I understand. You know, and then, uh, you know, and on top of it all, uh, those of you who tune into that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles, Sam Mitchell, you probably know that I have stumbled in to this uh, outfit that's been out there apparently ever since I have been in the Doomosphere. There has been this website called Medium. Dot com. I mean, with the boring name of medium.com. Been out there all of these years and uh, never really heard of it. I guess it was Umer Hack who, uh, you know, got he, he writes for this, uh, this outfit. And uh, so I got paywalled out of Umer. So anyway, they had this big sale, which I think is for one more day. So anyway, I signed up, paid my goddamn $25 annual subscription, you know, thinking, I mean, I'm, I already get Manga Bay every week, and uh, I, I'm on, you know, Center for Biological Diversity and uh, World Wildlife Fund and, and, and all of this crap. I just thought this was going to be one of these things. You know, I, I didn't really know what I was signing up for. And, uh, and, and, and so they send me this goddamn thing called the Daily Digest. And so every day now, every day, I open up my computer, this is for the last three days, and what the first thing I am confronted with, every fucking day, and I guess it will be every day for the next year, is, uh, is just this, this fucking, uh, good God, just this tsunami of doom and gloom. You know, talking about how fucked we are. I, I had some, uh, I guess I just did not understand uh, how many people were out there, been out there writing about how fucked we are. And, and you know, I only recognize a few of these names. Uh, there's, there's hundreds, if not thousands, uh, of people just on this one, uh, on this one outfit. Uh, you know, just writing uh, about uh, that we're fucked, uh, the planet's fucked, humans are fucked, uh, you're fucked, I'm fucked, uh, your kids, your grandkids, uh, everybody is fucked on this planet, uh, every living creature, every ecosystem, and uh, good fucking God. And uh, it, it would take me, if I just sat there and, and read the one article in the Digest, and then, of course, every fucking article you open up, then they're sitting there recommending 10, you know, with links to 10 more articles. And it, and it just has a, it, it just fucking mushrooms uh, into Methuselah. And, and, and uh, you this just go, my God. This is sped up 1.5 times, And uh, it, you could spend, it would take all fucking day just to read, you know, the, the list of articles, not counting going down all the rabbit holes they lead you into. And uh, but one thing I'm already figuring out, you know, I'm checking out all of these new writers, and, and, a, and there's a few of them, you know, obviously Umer Hack and uh, Jessica Wildfire, a couple of others who just write about doom, who, who just write about how fucked we are. Now, there are quite a few people uh, writing about climate change, uh, you know, specifically about climate change. There's a handful of them. There's a handful of doomers uh, who understand that climate, climate change is one small part of how fucked we are. Um, but it seems like, so, you know, what you do is you, you click on the, on the author, and then what comes up is, if you click on the author, is a list of every one of their, uh, columns they have ever written for Medium, and, and what becomes pretty apparent, at least what I found with, I probably looked in 30 or 40 of these different writers, is that the vast majority of them you know, they, they do an article or two about doom, about how fucked we are. And then they write about other things. They, they don't, they, they're, they're not just locked in to how fucked we are. It's like, you know, every, every three to six months, they say, oh yeah, we're fucked. 
And, uh, and so like every three to six months, they decide to write an article about how fucked we are. And, and, and then they're just writing about all of the other uh, things that have nothing to do exactly, you, you know, with, with all of, uh, you know, directly with the collapse of everything. But just basically about uh, how, how fucked, just how fucked we are. I, I'm, I'm not talking from a, yes, from a social or environmental, ecological perspective, just, just how fucked people are. And, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the themes, major themes, if you go over there to Collapse Chronicles, where that little eco-pussy reads one, one of the, the themes, recurring themes, that, um, that you see in these, uh, I'll call them non-doomer doomers, uh, you know, uh, what they do is like this fellow I'd never heard of, and this was the only article he had on the subject, was, okay, we understand we're fucked, and there's not a fucking thing to do about it. There's not a goddamn thing that you, I, anybody's going to do about it. We're going down the fucking toilet. Everybody fucking knows it. There's not a fucking thing that is going to change the situation. There's not a goddamn thing uh, that, that is going to change the fucking situation. And so if you understand that, then, then why do you bother obsessing over it? It's kind of like this. I would say my sister is in, uh, is in this school. Uh, you know, she, my dear sweet sister, she doesn't argue with me. Uh, it's just like, okay, uh, okay, dude, I agree with you. We are completely fucked. Uh, there's not a fucking thing uh, that anybody's going to do about it. I'm fucked. My daughters are fucked. My granddaughters are fucked. Uh, we're all fucked. Uh, it, it, it's not a matter of if. It's only a matter of when. I'm not arguing with you. But... Why the fuck do you keep just just going back to it and dwelling on it? I, I mean, once you fucking understand how fucked you are, uh, you know. And so then I said, okay, all right, I get it. I, I'm, I'm fucked. Uh, there's not a fucking thing. There, one article I read today was called "We Are So Fucked." Now we're is it we're fucked? We're all fucked. We're so fucked. I, I, anyway, uh, you'll find plenty of these articles on there. So I, I, I finally, I, I spent like three fucking hours this morning reading these things over and over again. Uh, you know, it's the same basic theme. We're fucked. There's nothing you're gonna fucking do about it. Move on with your fucking life. And I'm thinking, my fucking God, uh, I got to get the fuck out of here. I, you know, I need to go over to the goddamn mainstream media uh, to get out of the fucking uh, echo chamber of the doomosphere. And that's what it is. You know, I, my buddy Mike Sleva is the first one who introduced me. Uh, you know, Mike Sleva used to be, uh, you know, real big down here in the doomosphere. And he just, he just cashed it in. How long ago did Mike, five or six years ago, he was just done with it. And he goes, hey, man, you know, what the fuck? How many ways can you say we're fucked? And uh, he just walked away from it from the echo chamber of the doomosphere. Uh, all, all of these doomers, and we were just talking to each other. Hey, do you understand we're fucked? Really? We're fucked? You're kidding. Oh, okay, I get it. We're fucked. Why don't we talk about how fucked we are every fucking day for the rest of our fucking lives? You know, there's only so many ways you, you can get up and say two plus two equals four. Imagine opening up, uh, having a fucking daily digest of two plus two equals four. Every fucking day for the rest of your fucking life, you, you go in there and you open up your email, and, and there's 20 articles saying 2 plus 2 equals 4. Spread the word! <laughs> so I go over, uh, you, might, you can hear that eco-pussy, you know, when I'm wrapping up uh, the rant today and saying that he's going to go over there to uh, the mainstream media, to, you know, to find something to cheer him up, like some fucking, uh, you know, murder or whatever. You know, where, where's a goddamn serial killer uh, when you need one to take your fucking mind off how fucked we are? So I go over there to the mainstream media, and, and, and uh, it didn't take long, uh, you, you know, uh, with, with all, uh, you know, trying to steer around all of these fucking distractions about fucking Kanye West and Nick Fuentes. Never heard. I actually believe Donald Trump on this Nick Fuentes thing. For once, I believe uh, Donald Trump. I don't think Donald Trump knew who the fuck Nick Fuentes was. I had never fucking heard of Nick Fuentes. I don't think Donald Trump has ever heard of fucking Abraham Lincoln. You know, it didn't surprise me at all uh, that Donald Trump. Okay, guys, he starts going off into another subject, but he points out something I've noticed on my channel creating this content is oftentimes it does feel like an echo chamber of saying the same thing every day, two plus two equals four, but that's where um, original thought creativity comes into play in journalism. This person does journalism too. 
he uh, reports on news articles, perhaps even some of the same ones that I cover. Um, and that's how I look at it, is not being trapped in the uh, echo chamber so much as reporting and being a witness to all of this happening. Yes, we're screwed. This is all pretty much pointless. All of us living our little pointless little lives going in circles, making um, currency in exchange for labor and energy. Pretty pointless, no doubt. But, you know, with a little bit of, uh, I don't know, lust for life, maybe you just lose that over age and time. You know, we're a part of this giant clusterfuck of a opera show. You know, this big play going on. I think it's fascinating and entertaining, honestly. So these are, this is one of the two routes you can go. You can go into the narcissistic, self-centered, um, existential nihilistic dread, or you can gallows humor. This is, this is a dividing line and make it humorous and fun and just realize that we're just a amalgamation of cells and body tissue shooting electrical signals that make things enjoyable and leisurely. That's how I take it. Okay, hope you enjoyed the content. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.